Welcome to Expert Talk Smart Flows. In this session, we'll have a look at pseudo fields. Up till now, we have used formulas to do calculations. But if we want to do more complex calculations, we can use a pseudo field. We can add a pseudo field to our data set. First, let's replace the formula with a pseudo field. I'll open the settings of the formula. I can copy the expression that we have used there and place that on the clipboard. Then think for a minute where you want to place your pseudo field on your data set. If you want to calculate totals and discounts and the like, the best place would be the quote itself. If you want to calculate something for a line item, you would place the pseudo field on the line item. So here I'll select the quote element. I'll add a pseudo field. I'll give it a name. And I'll decide what type it is. This will return a value, so I will set the type to number. The parent field is quote. So you can always change that if needed. Now you can build your expression just like a formula. Because I'm a bit lazy, I will just paste my formula from the clipboard. And OK it. Now we have in our data set an extra field, a pseudo field. It's got a blue icon, you can notice that. And the current total field can now be used to map in your template. You can use that pseudo field also within another pseudo field, for instance, to calculate discounts or taxes. And don't forget to format it too, because it's just like any other number or currency field that needs to be formatted. We can also use our pseudo fields for conditions. So I can now use that grand total pseudo field to make text conditional, for instance, this text about shipping. I'll set the condition to only show this text if the grand total is less than 10,000. Alternatively, I set the order, the other sentence for grand totals that are over 10,000. Now let's create a preview. That's looking good. You can also use a pseudo field to count items in a result set. So let's create a new pseudo field. I want to calculate the total number of solar panels in our order. That is a number. I'll use the sum function and from our result set, I'll pick the quantity field. The result set will only give me panel uh, items, so I can use that quantity field from there to sum up. See, it's get added to my data set and I can now use that within my template. Don't forget to style it as a number. And let's create a preview.
and I have 12 panels, 4 plus 8. Another use of pseudo fields would, to store, would be to store frequently used values like telephone numbers or string text together like first names and last names. I've skipped one setting, context awareness. First, let me group this table by product group. Take the product group description as a header. And run a preview. As you can see, I now have three tables for each product group, uh, one table. But the grand total is still calculated over all the line items together. To solve this, we can make the pseudo field context aware. Select your pseudo field. Click the pencil. With the pencil, you can always edit your pseudo fields. And turn on context awareness. Now run the preview again. And now it neatly calculates the grand total per table. Before I go, you have to remember that pseudo fields are stored on the template itself. So if you want to use them in another template, you have to create them again for that template. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye.